Let's look at a couple of argument forms that use some. Some monkeys love bananas. Rico is a monkey, therefore Rico loves bananas. This obviously is not valid. Once you downgrade the generalization from all to some, you lose the validity of the inference. If you recall from the propositional logic course, some just means at least one. So from the fact that at least one monkey loves bananas, there's no good reason to think that a random monkey like Rico is going to love bananas. So this form is clearly invalid. I'll put it alongside the form with all just to highlight the comparison. Here's another example where replacing all with some makes the argument invalid. Some musicians are rich. Some rich people live in New York. Therefore, some musicians live in New York. This is reasoning in a chain with some, and it's invalid. Reasoning in a chain with all is valid, but not with some. This example may not strike everyone as obviously invalid, since in our world every claim in the argument is true. But when we're assessing validity, we're not allowed to assume background information that isn't stated in the premises. So in this hypothetical world, we know that at least one musician is rich, and we know that at least one rich person lives in New York. But from this alone, we can't validly infer that any musicians live in New York. Well, for most purposes, this is all you really need to know about categorical arguments that use sum. The two forms that we've looked at are both invalid, and this will generally be the case when reasoning with generalizations of the form sum A or B. I would add that there are valid argument forms that use sum, but they tend to be awkward and not worth memorizing. For example, if I said, it's not the case that some tigers are not mammals, Tony is a tiger, therefore Tony is a mammal, that's actually a valid argument, but the form is too convoluted to be helpful as a memory aid.